I really I'm looking forward to eventually at some point getting out to some competitions there's no competitions out around at the minute around our area there's a lot of traveling so I really want to you know the over the board games so I love the scene I love the competition scene I think it's brilliant the players genuinely aren't the same as the real players that I play against. I do have a few club players and uh, competition players that I play against, so that's keeping my hand in on that knowledge. But it's still not the same because over the board, you have to move the pieces yourself. You have to watch if it was a legal move or not that you're making, that they're making. You have to press the clock you've got to write down the notations so it's all a whole different con um, concentration thing um, when you're playing over the board could push this pawn you know onto the knight but I'm going to do this first yeah so massive difference when you're playing over the board so that's, that's why it makes me laugh when I see like um, players that have got like 2000 and stuff on you know online and they've never seen an over the board um, <laughs> situation ever but they're like in the 2000s upwards and they're just blasting everybody away and the culture shock of playing an over the board game absolutely it's massively massively different because I played online for ages uh, before I actually went and played over the board and then I got the shock of my life when I played over the board um, it's it's like you've gone to a whole different country and you have to adjust to all these different rules and tactics and strategies and um, not just over the board with the people as well and and different sorts of mechanisms that people will use to win um, yeah it's all really weird it's um it's a learning curve but it's a, an experience that I've really enjoyed so I take that experience with me when I'm playing even online as well let's go here I've lost my concentration now I've got a bit excited about talking about over the board it's coming from a bishop bishop's got a bit of space here but then he's going to get a fork on our bishop here so we have to be very mindful of that situation could circumvent just bring the bishop here knight doesn't want to take because he doesn't want our knight attacking his queen so the bishop's coming here to attack our knight get rid of the knight so the knight's not supporting etc etc i am going to bring this here x-ray through to the queen so he moves there dead quick and last but not least let's just castle and then face the queen and we could take but we're not interested in that it's doing a job and yeah they're moving like it's a blitz match now so we know the deal so now they've got rid of our knight then he's going to take the pawn so we may as well take with the queen and he's going to double our pawns there feeling really good that he's doubled the pawns so he's not doing that just yet so he's wanting this pawn so this knight this pawn drops onto the knight etc etc so bring this rook here protecting the pawn so he takes anyway because he's not going to get the pawn so doubles up gives space for our rook quite nicely have sights of this pawn here or sights of his rook so x-raying through moving so fast i'm going to take the rook because we can and then we can take here all right so that seemed to have worked out okay for us i mean he's got a bishop he might feel confident he's got the bishop so let's go here go here he's wanting to free the bishop up now to come oh i thought it was going to come here but uh, i suppose that's better for him and let's bring this here he may go for the exchange so then his bishop is taken no okay and yeah you see he's going to get this pawn here with the bishop but then that's the only thing he's getting isn't it shall we risk it let's go he's not doing that and his rook's not defended is it it's moving too fast yeah it's going like crazy okay so that was interesting um i think there was a stage during the game where 
I think they thought they had it sewn up so then they were moving really quick so let's just go through here I think they played well actually not that I'm anyone to say anybody's playing well yeah so it's early part of the game actually um, move 9, move 10 because we could see what they were targeting yeah so I think the frustration got to them in a sense of ah I'm going to get the bishop but then we moved the bishop out of the way and that's when it started going a little bit crazy and then he's looking to eye up the pawn with his bishop coming through here so a little bit like um, I was playing a one of the games where they were just blocking everything so I'm a massive blocker and he's just blocking 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 all the way through the game so I seem to have done that to this player just blocking off their attempts and then x-raying through to the queen all basic stuff bringing the bishop back we like our bishop bringing it back again then the capture so it looked like they got a little bit exasperated at this point and I haven't put the um, thing on yet just to see where we're at yeah plus 0.4 at the moment so they've got a little bit exasperated they were attacking pieces you could see the ideas that they, they had if I wasn't aware I think I would have lost a few pieces and it's saying should have taken with the knight but I didn't want to lose the pawn but I suppose in a way because the knight's attacking the queen isn't it so if the bishop did take the pawn you know that's, duh. yeah simple 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 that's when you get tunnel vision that's when I had tunnel vision just focusing on that pawn and not looking at the power of the knight actually attacking their queen as well so we went for the simple exchange there and they're pushing down looking again just to try and get this pawn the whole idea was they were just trying to focus on get this pawn so everything else sort of fall, fell into um, insignificance so they captured as you could see they, they eventually, eventually took the knight but the position isn't that good so we could now put an x-ray through to their rook and we could capture they're still in the game here and it's plus three at the moment and that we look to double up and at that, po at that point i thought well he's, he's going to champion this somehow so if he brings it if he brings his rook here then if we go here like this oh that's why duh because the king can't take it back can it Okay, so they move but then they forget to move their rook because they're moving that fast and then they resigned so that was an interesting game there I think it would have developed a lot better I think if the opponent took their time that they may have really put some serious pressure on the game there 